on adding three numbers instead of just two numbers. So for instance, we have been adding two plus two plus five. That's three numbers. We've been adding three numbers together. But one of our strategies is to combine two of the numbers so that it makes it a lot easier for us to add. So which two would you want to put together and go ahead and add those two numbers together to make it a little bit easier for us? The two and the two. The two and the two. Why? Okay, very good. You are absolutely right. Two plus two is really easy, isn't it? Yeah. We all know two plus two, so it makes it quick and easy. So we know four, and this is exactly right. We could use another strategy. We have um, a double minus one. So he doubled the five and then took away one, and he has the answer. It is nine. So that's a lot easier than trying to figure out two plus two plus five. So that's what we're going to be talking about today, is combining the numbers in different ways. So let's look at the numbers that we have on our paper. There are three children at one table. Do you see the table? There are six children at another table. Do you see that table? There are three children in line. Do you see the three children in line? How many children are there? So I want to know how many are all together. What three numbers did we need to add? The exact same numbers. Okay, what numbers are they? Um, three and three. And? Six. Very good. So, could I write Three plus three plus six equals. Could I do that? Sure, I could. What two numbers could I put together to make it easier for myself? Put the threes together. Okay, what is three plus three equal first grade? Six. Six plus six. Equals, this is a double stat. First grade. Wow, very good. You are exactly right. But, could I do it in a different way? Yeah. I could. could. Do six plus six. I could do six plus three plus three. What did I do that was different? You just switched them around. I just around. switched them around, didn't I? Okay. Yeah, equals six. So can I do six plus three? If you can left the smaller and the bigger. Could I first grade? I have some students who are not paying attention. So this is going to be pretty tough if we're not paying attention, correct? Could I do six plus three? Yeah. Sure. What is six plus three equal? Nine. Nine. So I have Nine plus three equals. What kind of math fact is this? It's a double. It's not a double. It's a count on. So I start at nine and I keep counting on. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is starting to get easier to get done. Nine yeah. Plus three is twelve. Did you, we get the same answer? <coughs> yeah. Should we have gotten the same answer? Yes. Yes, we should have. Do you guys understand what we're doing today? <coughs> it's a lot easier to circle two numbers and put those together first, boys, than it is to try to figure out all of them. Because do we have enough fingers for that? Yes. We no. do. We got. You could have twelve fingers. No. We can use our toes too. No. 
So, it's easier to do it in our brain than it is 